What's, What's up, up guys? guys? <laughs> Welcome to story time. Well, it's actually beer and wine in story time. It's so, boozy story time. It's boozy story time. You heard it. All right. We are talking about how I burned my Cherokee. It was actually my first Cherokee right here. Was it your first? This was my first Cherokee I ever bought. Like... That was the first one, yeah. So the first Jeep I ever got into as far as like the whole Jeeping world. Literally, I bought this thing. It had like, it had 106,000 miles on it. At the time, I had no idea what I had. It was a 91, I think. Anyways, I paid, I think, 2,000 bucks for it. It was super clean. It was a Pioneer. And I literally thought the thing was indestructible and we went snow wheeling i bought it it was in such good shape the it was old one mint i mean like for oh, the year i'm so I, if upset I, that you did burn that one well i didn't like purposely burn it anyways bought the thing like a few months prior and it burned to the ground december 24th christmas eve and i probably bought it in like october it was like my birthday present or something and we did so much snow wheeling. We lived in Colorado and I was bone stock. I mean, no lift, no nothing. And I took, we took that thing, me and my everywhere. friends, everywhere. And we rallied that thing and it got me. <laughs> I never got stuck in it ever. And I feel like everyone else got stuck. Yeah, it was awesome. It was like the coolest Jeep. And that's what got me into Jeeping. It was like the coolest damn Jeep. So anyways, let's get to the story. So one day, Christmas Eve, her family was here. Well, it was just no. It was your brother, brother Thad? Yeah, her brother. Her brother was here, Maybe and brother, my brother was visiting for the holidays. The dogs, and I had both my dogs. No, we only had anyways. Both the dogs. And I'm like, let's go for a quick drive out behind my dad's house because he had like all open land behind him, BLM and National Forest. So we went out just for like like three miles back and played in the snow, and I was like just ripping this thing, like having a blast. And I got stuck in a weird spot on top of a hill. And I was like, no way we're getting out of this. I'm not walking back. So we all get out of the car and we're like, you know, I'm pushing the car like probably more than I knew I probably was. I was pretty new to this all. Yeah. And I literally was pushing it, pushing it, but I, I was watching the temp and everything. And we finally got it out. Okay. And the four wheel drive went out right after we got it out like we were pushing it and shoveling snow and finally this we got is it like out like what how many feet of snow it was like probably like a foot and a half of snow like i was high centered i was definitely high centered in the, in the picture you can kind of see where it like how much snow there was but uh and i'll also post another picture right now <laughs> of me snow wheeling and how like what we kind of used to do with it so Anyways, so I get out, I'm, I'm not stuck anymore, and we, the car dies, and instantly my temp gauge just blows over and it starts smoking, and I was like, holy shit. So, uh, I mean, I'm starting to freak out. And I wasn't there. She wasn't there. It was just me, was her brother, house. and my brother, and my dogs. And I'm freaking out, I have all my tools in the car, so I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna just pull the hood, and... I started smelling like smoke and stuff and I was like maybe I was like I need to throw like snow or, like throw some snow on the hood like I didn't know what to do. So I try to pull the hood latch and I want to pull it and the whole latch came out with me all the wire <laughs> all of it and I was like shit dude like I looked at my like my brothers and I was like what are we going to do? And so I'm like, let's just start throwing snow on the hood. So I'm like throwing snow on the hood like crazy. The dogs are like okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the dogs are out running around like crazy. I'm freaking out. This thing, and it, we were in like two inches of snow at this point because I was already out. And next thing I know, I start seeing flames come into the dashboard. And I'm like, oh my God, this is not good. So I'm like, I gotta call my friend. I don't know what to do. I literally don't know what to do. So I call my friend on, Anthony. You would think if your car was on fire, I would be your first. Photo. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I didn't call her first. <laughs> Called my friend Anthony. I was like, he answers. I had service. I was on top of a mountain. I don't know how. He answers and he's like, I was like, 
dude, my car is on fire right now. And he's like, no way, it probably just overheated, it's probably smoking a little bit. I was like, bro, there is like four foot flames at this point. Like there is literally four oh, foot God. flames coming out of my, my Jeep, like literally right now. He's like, dude, why are you calling me? <laughs> Call the fire department, like what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I just didn't know what to do. I was freaking out. So then it catches in flames and uh, which this all happened over like an hour. Like it wasn't like it just caught in flames. It was like the craziest thing. I was so scared because I thought like in the movies, this thing was going to explode. Uh, so I'm I have freaking in out. <laughs> a car catching on fire incident where it did. Yeah. I was freaking out. So thinking that's it was what I explode. imagine when you called me. <laughs> so yeah. So then I finally call Grace and uh, by the way, this like is Grace an hour my wife. later. Right. <laughs> um, and uh, so I finally call her and the fire department comes out. No, this is, let me just, this is Clinton. Um, so we caught the Jeep on fire, but like everything's fine and I'm freaking out like it just happened. Yeah. And it didn't just happen. It yeah. was like an hour ago and you're like, no, everything's fine. Like the fire department's here, like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, why am I just hearing about that? Yeah. So then. But you did tell me. Yeah. To so come then the his, next day, brother my brother was visiting from Denver and had he like only an had one. He had exams he had to go back to. He had one set of keys he left in his, he yeah. left in the car and. So it, he had to go back Christmas. We night. had to go back on Christmas day to go dig through the Jeep. It was still out there because I didn't get it till like a week after. And we were digging through and the, even the next day, there was literally like a foot of water in this thing. And we're like yeah. swimming through, like looking, looking for Looking for anything. There was sunglasses there was in there. There all like... sorts of tools in there. And he literally pulls out a nub of a key, just the nub of it. The, the rest of it was melted yeah. off. And it was the right was freaking Tyler's. key and it worked and he got home. He it was literally home. like the craziest thing. Like uh. I, the, to this day. So the reason why it caught on fire, I think obviously for one, I pushed it too hard and it overheated. That's obviously a fact. But when I bought it, it always does. That. I had noticed that whoever had it before me had wired um, some Yo. kind of switch or something. For lights? I don't know what it was for. It was like a wire. They just literally set the that. wire right on top of the motor. And I just had only had it for like a month and I was going to fix it and I just never got to it. And I, I'm pretty sure that when it overheated, it caught that on fire, which caught the rest of the Jeep on fire. Cause obviously it's not super common. Mm -hmm. That was like literally crazy. Like yeah. a shit show. it was like, it was like, but it was like my uh, first Jeep and I was like our biggest story. Like my big, I would just say that was Cherokee like, story, but it was well, just, it was kind of just like unreal. And like yeah. maybe next week we'll talk about we actually went four wheeling with our four. He was three or four weeks old, our newborn. Just like our first and, time. And uh, we almost got him. stuck overnight, and I Snow blew my lockers out. Whole big story. Um, <laughs> in my 2016 Rubicon. So that maybe will be our next one of our next stories. Uh, I have all sorts of fun, and then I also took my four door Wrangler before my 2016. Uh, we went rock crawling, you could say. And uh, I, it was not good. I have pictures and stuff, but uh, that was a crazy story too. Yeah, you just but, thought uh, it'd be a good idea with the. Yeah, being I figured crappy. with all this COVID stuff, it'd be fun to just do like story time and stuff, just to. And if you guys have any funny stories, that you know, leave it in the yeah. comments. I'd love to hear them. I just, it's a whole part of the community. So, mm -hmm. anyways, I appreciate you guys checking in, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.